What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt, and I help people overcome retroactive jealousy. In this video, I want to talk to you about the idea of burning up the old emotion, the old emotions that we have when it comes to um, the thoughts of our partner's past. These anxious feelings that we that come up are basically um, emotions that carry a lot of energy behind them. They're highly charged, right? That's why they feel so real. That's why they take over our body. That's why they take over our day. But as anything that's highly charged, it these things can easily be, I guess, decharged, uncharged. What's the word for that? But basically, we can burn up that old emotion. We can burn up that charge. And so it becomes less and less and less and less and less. And pretty soon, we can actually think these thoughts without the emotional anxious attachment um, coming along with them. And once that happens, we become free. We really, really do. These thoughts will simply just come and go. There'll be no emotional attachment to them whatsoever. And we become free because a thought that has no attachment to easily comes and goes. Just like we have whatever it is, 80 million thoughts a day or some crazy number of thoughts a day. How many of them are we actually conscious of? Very, very few because most of them are just coming and going. It would be the same thing of these thoughts of the past. They will not linger. They will not stick around. And so we actually become free. So I want to read you a couple quotes from um, a fantastic book kind of on this subject, which really helped me in the process of overcoming retroactive jealousy. So I think it'll help you as well. So we'll get to that in this video. Before we do, though, if you could take a quick moment and smash the like button, that'll activate YouTube's algorithm and get this video out to more people than you to see it. So I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, as always, if you want some more help in overcoming retroactive jealousy, I have some amazing courses all open for enrollment down in the links in the description below. Check out which course uh, fits best for you. If you can't decide, you can actually bundle all my courses together and, and purchase one big master course. But every single one of my courses comes with absolutely free email coaching with me. I'll give you my personal email address. So it's not just you're going off and doing the course by yourself and you're not knowing what you're doing. I'll be there to guide you every step of the way with any questions or anything that you have on there. So uh, check that out before you go today. And yes, I'm kind of in a little bit of a closet here. <laughs> uh, you might see a few videos of me like this over these next few weeks as we're kind of traveling around and stuff i just need a place of a little bit quiet quietness in order to get these videos out with not a lot of background noise you might still hear background noise occasionally but hopefully since i've kind of locked myself away in this closeted area um it'll be um as, as few background noise uh, as possible for distraction so thanks for bearing with me um over these next few weeks but um so i want to read you a quote and this is coming from my kindle but this is from the book letting go by david hawkins and really it talks about what we need to do when it comes to overcoming retroactive jealousy, when it comes to these thoughts, when it comes to burning up the emotion, um, letting the emotion run its course. And again, when that emotion run its, runs its course, when that high anxiety emotion is gone, we, we become free, right? It's not the thoughts that bother us. It's the emotion attached to the thoughts that bother us. There's a difference between the thought and then the emotional response. There's the gap in between the two, right? First comes the thought then comes the response. It's not that the thought and the response are the same thing or the thought is causing me this. No, it's it's the response that we don't like. But once, so again, once the response is no longer there and that's the response is the thing we don't like, guess what? We're okay, we're free. That's exactly what I had to do. Um, you know my story, that's exactly what I had to do. And and since I did that, you know, put in all, all the work that I did over the years um, and really hunkered down and did it, um, I'm free. And those, those thoughts have never come back. The responses never come back. Nothing else changed on the outside. It was just everything on the inside changed. So let me read you this quote. It's kind of a long quote. So bear with me a little bit, but, um, here it is. It says letting go of anxiety and highly charged responses involves being aware of a feeling, letting it come up, staying with it and letting it run its course without wanting to make it different or do anything about it. It means simply to let the feeling be there and to focus on letting out the energy behind it. The first step is to allow yourself to have the feeling without resisting it, venting it, fearing it, or condemning it. It means to drop judgment and to see that it is just a feeling. The technique is to be with the feeling and surrender all efforts to modify it in any way. Let go of wanting to resist the feeling. It is the resistance that keeps the feeling going. 
When you give up resisting or trying to modify the feeling, it will shift to the next feeling and be accompanied by a lighter sensation. A feeling that is not resisted will disappear as the energy behind it dissipates. Okay, so this is very, very big. This is very, very key because again, when these thoughts come up, when these emotions come up, the first thing that we want to do is try to rationalize it, analyze it. Why am I feeling this way? It's not good I'm feeling this way. This is wrong. This is bad. And what David Hawkins is saying here is, no, is saying, no, by doing that, you're you're resisting it. You're saying, this is wrong. This shouldn't be this way. I shouldn't be feeling this way. Okay, you're resisting it. You're fearing it. You're condemning it. And by doing that, you're resisting it and you're, and you're keeping it there. And it's the resistance to the thought, the not wanting it to be there. Sorry, the resistance to the feeling, um, not wanting it to be there, which causes it to continue to be there. And so what he's saying here is this technique is to be with the feeling, surrender, surrender to it. Just say, yep. You're here. I feel you. You can be here all you want. I'm not going to do anything about you. It's totally okay. Yep, I feel you. And again, he's saying, it's just a feeling. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's just a feeling that doesn't feel good. But the only reason it doesn't feel good is because we have judged and labeled it as this feeling is bad. So if we detach from all that and just sit with the feeling, put our focus on it, put our attention on it, kind of breathe through it. Again, it's not going to feel good, right? We might get anxious. We want to do a compulsive behavior. We want to do, but if we don't do any of these things, the energy behind this emotion starts to dissipate. And the more we do this, again, it's the burning up of that emotion. Okay, we're letting that emotion run its course, and slowly but surely, the energy behind it is going to dissipate. It's like running, draining the battery or whatever, you know, in in these emotions. And slowly, the battery drains the more and more and more that it keeps coming, but we don't do anything. We just feel it out and feel it out and feel it out. And pretty soon that old emotion goes away. Now I want to carry this with you with the thoughts, right? So with us, with retroactive jealousy, obviously we continue to get more thoughts of explore this, explore this, ask your partner this question, figure this thing out, all these things, right? You, you know the feeling to do these compulsive behaviors, try to rationalize the situation. Well, maybe this isn't, maybe should, they shouldn't have done this. Why did they have to do this? Maybe I should go out and do something to, redeem myself or whatever the case is, right? But again, here's the case with that. I'm going to read you one more quote from the book. It says, when letting go from these emotions, ignore all thoughts. Focus on the feeling itself, not on the thoughts. Thoughts are endless and self-reinforcing, and they only breed more thoughts. Thoughts are merely rationalizations of the mind to try and explain the presence of the feeling. The real reason for the feeling is the accumulated pressure behind the feeling that is forcing it to come up in the moment. The thoughts or external events are only an excuse made up by the mind. So again, we're thinking I'm feeling this way because of my partner's past, because they did this. If only they didn't do this, I'd feel better. If only they didn't do that, maybe if I went and did this, I'd feel better. Or maybe if, if I broke up with them, I'd feel better. More, again, these are all just thoughts. These are all thoughts, external events, and they're only an excuse from the mind trying to rationalize or trying to make sense of why you're feeling this way. Again, it's not going to help get rid of the feeling no matter what you do. If you break up with them, the feeling's gonna come back in your next relationship. If you cheat on them, the feeling's gonna be there afterwards. It's just a compulsive behavior. If you ask questions, the feeling's gonna still be there. Nothing is going to change. No external circumstances can change. It's all internal. And it all has to do again with burning up the old emotion inside as we talked about. So this is the key when letting go when doing this stuff ignore all thoughts focus on the feeling itself not the thoughts that's the end of, of my my quotes that i'm going to share with you but i think that's so absolutely crucial and key is when we get down to this is it's so easy for us to try to think our way through this to rationalize our way through this to think that if i only think this through i'll have this light bulb come off of my head and i'll just know all the answers and i'll be cured and everything's going to be okay that's not how it works Okay. We have to let the feeling in, feel that feeling again, without judging it. So it can again, run its course. And these thoughts are going to come in our head. Do this, do that. What about when they did this? What about when they did that? How did it, how did this? And we're going to ignore them because again, they're nothing more than the mind trying to rationalize things. And we don't need anything to be rational right now. We just want to get rid of this feeling, right? And once we burn up the feeling, we, we overcome it, we get better. So that's very, very crucial and very key thinking about the thoughts, exploring the thoughts, going down the rabbit hole in these thoughts, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, and that's very, very important. And once you come to terms with that, that's when everything changes. That's what that's when it changed for me when I realized, 
wow, thinking about this stuff is not helping me. Asking the questions is not helping me. It's making me worse. What can I do? And when I, you know, discovered things like this book and different things like that, okay, I'm not going to think about this stuff anymore. I just made a promise to myself. I'm not going to think about this anymore. It hasn't served me to this point. So I know it doesn't work. So I'm, I'm, let me just focus on the feeling. And I wouldn't every single day. I'd feel that feeling. I feel that anxiety. The anxiety would be with me all the time because I get triggered all the time, all the time. And I just feel it. I wouldn't judge it. I'd say, yep, there it is. I'd almost greet it like an old friend. Hello, there you are, anxiety. Yep, I feel you. Come along for the day. I'm going to do this today, that today, this today, that today, and this. And I want to do this and I want to do that. And I'm going to do those things. Even if you're here, I'm going to do them anyway. And I just continued to, to feel it. And I brought the anxiety along with me. And I did not let it affect my day. I let it run its course. When you're ready to go, anxiety, you can go. If you want to stay, you can stay. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give you the time of day when it comes to these thoughts. I'm going to feel you out. And when you're ready to go, go. And guess what happened? Over a couple month period of time, it, it left. It left. And I became free. And it started dissipating, dissipating, dissipating. Some days I'd go, most of the day I'd be like, wow, I didn't get any triggers. Nothing happened today. you know. And then maybe by the end of the day I'd get one. Or maybe the next day would be a bad day. And pretty soon there was just this stretch of a lot of time where I was just like, nothing's happened. I have not been anxious. I haven't had these thoughts. And now actually I can think about a thought that used to bother me and I don't feel anything. There's no more energy. There's no more emotion. It's gone. It's burnt up. It's dissipated. So that's absolutely crucial, absolutely key. You can absolutely do this. You have what it takes. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, you're going to have a million thoughts saying, no, 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 don't do this, don't do that. But again, we're going to ignore those. We're going to put our attention on the feeling and just feel it out. And I promise you, you're going to get better. You're going to heal. You have what it takes. I've done it. I've seen thousands of others do it. You're no different. You can absolutely do it. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes hard work. It's frustrating sometimes, but I'm telling you, there's so much power in being able to do this and overcome this. And once you overcome it, you realize there's nothing you cannot do. Your life becomes amazing even more and more. Your relationship, um, you know, progresses on levels you can never imagine. So keep this in mind and put this to good work. And um, of course, if you want some more help, step-by-step um, -step instructions or, or my personal help, uh, again, check out the description below, enroll in any of my courses, and um, I'll throw in my email address absolutely free and help you overcome this once and for all. If you just want a freebie to take home with you too, um, I have a meditation and I also have an ebook, um, a free little uh, about three or four pages ebook, um, kind of guiding you further along this journey for you and overcoming retroactive jealousy. I know you have what it takes to do it. That's it for me for now, everybody. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video.